Hey there, I've got a new keyboard, so if you've been around here for a little bit, then you know that it's another B-roll showcase. This time is the Ducky 1-2 Mini Frozen Llama Edition, which is a limited edition, I believe is only 3,000 copies, and is a collab between Ducky and MechanicalKeyboards.com. So if you want one, then you should check the link in the description below because I don't know the stock level by the time this video comes out. As usual, let's start with a bit of an overview before the B-roll showcase video. So in the box, you get the keyboard, obviously, but you also get some extra keycaps that's in the same theme. You also get a keycap puller that's also on the same theme, and you get a white USB type A type C cable that's unfortunately not in the same theme. And since we're talking about themes, just look at this keyboard. It looks awesome. This blue, turquoise, and purple mix just looks amazing to me. And I want to point out these little decals in the back that they have. I think it just looks really, really awesome. And if you haven't noticed already, this is a 60% keyboard because it's a Ducky 1-2 Mini that's reskinned. And that's actually not a bad thing because the Ducky 1-2 Mini is a very nice board. It feels solid despite it being plastic, so I have no problem typing with it. There's no real flex in it. And the plastic could be even looked at as a good thing because it keeps the keyboard light, so it could be portable. Another thing that's an advantage of being a Ducky 1-2 Mini is the fact that it comes in a bunch of different switches. You can find all the switches in the link in the description below. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention the most important thing it has. RGB lighting, because it's 2019. And finally, onto functions. It is pretty standard for a 60% keyboard. It has different layers and so on. Um, you might have different placement for certain keys, but overall you still have your media controls and lighting control and even programmable macros in this. It is, however, not 100% programmable as far as I know, but really, I personally think it's perfectly fine. So overall, this keyboard looks awesome, and really that's why I bought it. But still, typing on and using it feels great, and it's just a great keyboard all around. And now, last but not least, the B-Roll Showcase. 